Hey guys, this is Mike from ComicHype.com, and uh, I want to talk to you today about one of the most anticipated games this fall. Um, not so much, in my opinion, for the game itself, um, but for the supplemental content provided by Warner Brothers Interactive, Warner Montreal, and Warner Brothers Games, um, as we actually delve into the collector's edition of Batman Arkham Origins. Now, I have seen a lot of collector's editions and own a lot of them that have come out over the years, and I've got to say, in terms of content and for the price point, this is probably one of the best um, in terms of the amount of content that you get. Now, I'm talking about games like Uncharted, Drake's Deception, Assassin's Creed 3. Uh, I'm talking about stuff like uh, the last Arkham City game that really provided a lot in terms of uh, physical supplementary material. Um, this by far, in my opinion, really blows them all away. Um, and I'm going to go through a lot of the components that make up this set. Uh, I can tell you right now it's going to be very hard to come by. Um, and regardless of what some of the media outlets are saying about the game itself, uh, this is not in any way meant to be a review on the game itself. Um, I encourage everybody to play the game. Uh, it's getting mixed to good reviews on most media outlets. Um, but, you know, you're a gamer. You judge for yourself. I'm really here to walk you through some of the supplementary content um, as we here at Comic Hype like to cover a lot of the material that involves, uh, you know, that, you know, basically goes outside of comic book games and, you know, comic games themselves. Uh, so let's take a look at a lot of the stuff in the Batman Arkham Origins um, game itself. So uh, I'm going to turn the camera here for a minute to a couple of the supplemental items that we have. All right, we're going to start with some stuff that I'm going to put down. Give me two seconds. All right. So one of the things that Arkham City really has going for it is its um, excess of supplemental print material. Um, almost like prop replicas from the game. Um, so what we got to start with, we've got uh, one of the Batman's big villains in the game will be the villain Anarchy. And we've got a stencil cutout of Anarchy symbol there. You'll probably go spray paint that somewhere on your local wall in your neighborhood. Uh, we've got a schematic of the Bat plane. And we've got a very detailed Batman Wanted poster, which is quite cool. Uh, on top of that, we've got a picture of young Bruce and his family. Try to get the flash off there for a minute. That's really cool. Um, we actually have a glow-in-the-dark map of Gotham City from Anarchy. Uh, Anarchy's name's all over this map. Uh, I'm sure, sorry it's difficult to see in this light. Um, but if you put it under a lamp, it does light up, and you can probably see some of the uh, the rough texture on there uh, as he plans his little plans there. Uh, on top of that, we've got two pieces of downloadable content. One is the first appearance Batman skin from way back in the 1940s when he actually carried guns, for people that remember that. And this came standard with the regular edition of the game. It's the game download content for the Deathstroke Challenge Pack. Now, Deathstroke is a major villain in the game. Um, the premise behind the game, for those of you that haven't heard, is that Black Mask puts a bounty on Batman's head, and all these uh, assassins such as Deathstroke, Deadshot, uh, you know, any most villains in the Batman universe, uh, again, this is a prequel come out to go after Batman. Um, on top of that, we get some great stuff like I'll hold this up here. It's a final, final offer, poker chip, $10,000 in a Gotham PD evidence package. Uh, something from the Black Masks business endeavors. All right, we got one of those, and we've got a, uh, a tooth piece of evidence from there. And, uh, you know, you can speculate where that comes from. I personally think it's from the Killer Croc. Uh, but uh, it's got some uh, it's pretty good detail paid to... Uh, you know, the Batman and, you know, universe and the mythos in terms of video games. If uh, if you've been following these two games from uh, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City. Uh, and then we've also got the game itself. 
Uh, if you're playing on the PlayStation, you get a Nightfall Batman skin, classic TV series Batman skin and five challenge maps, and you get the Nightfall pack, which is included for the PS3. I believe the uh, classic TV series Batman skin is available only for the PS3. Um, the two pieces of downloadable content, like I said, one for the uh, regular buyers of the game who did not get the collector's edition, and then the other one for people who bought the collector's edition. Uh, so if you're playing, you know, the preferred console may actually be the PS3. Uh, a great addition to this set is definitely the Necessary Evil, Super Villains of DC Comics Blu-ray. Um, if you're picking this up on the Xbox, it's not offered on Blu-ray. Um, it does come with an ultraviolet digital code. Um, it's a hundred minute documentary on all the definitions of, uh, I'm sorry, all the, uh, the villains of the DC universe, essentially. And, uh, it's, it supposedly is really good from what I've heard from people who have seen it. Um, WWE superstar CM Punk is actually on the documentary as well, for those of you that follow wrestling. Um, so it's definitely got, like, a bevy of comic-centric individuals who, uh, are working for DC or have worked for DC in the past. Uh, other than that, we've got, um, let's see what else we got. We got the incredible Arkham Origins, uh, 80-page book. Um, this is probably the standout of the set, and, you know, I've got really a thing for art books, but, you know, this delves into a lot of the creation of the, um, the game itself. It's got, uh, a lot of the modeling and the characters, as you can see, as I'm flipping through it. Um, you know, so every, every villain pretty much is in this game, I think, in, in one way or another. Um, you know, even, look, you got even, a you know, some words from Jeff Johns, um, creative, chief creative officer over at DC. Um, you've got, like, you know, everything, including people who worked on it at DC Montreal. So, again, what I'm trying to tell you is that, like, this, this set is really a very comprehensive look at like not only the creation of a video game but also a comic book character as well um, I think that it it really you know sets the boundary for what like a collector's edition can be for the price and when I'm talking manufacturers retail price I'm saying about hundred and twenty dollars uh, I think it's it's really well done um, I think it's incredible uh, as I close this up uh, it, it's, it's really a great set on top of all that you get this dossier of uh, from the Black Mask. It's got a wanted poster and stuff. Um, you know, I'm running out of time uh, for what I can upload. Uh, but this is, you know, this again is a is a great set. Um, as you look over everything, as I stand up. And before I go, one last thing which I haven't gotten to yet, but you got to check out is the uh, the Joker statue, um, which seems to be the hot item in this set. It's about six pounds. Uh, it's in the box right now. Uh, he'll be coming out later. He's got fully functional LED lights behind him. Uh, as I look in the box, that basically light up every one of Batman's villains. It's it's basically a, a screen of everyone that's working to take out Batman and Batman himself. Uh, again, uh, I I can't say enough good things about this collector set. It's really like for the, for the money you're spending. Um, if you're pay paying 60 bucks for the game and 60 bucks for the bonus content, you know, you've got the Blu-ray, you've got the supplemental, um, you get the supplemental material such as the, uh, the map, the Batwing schematic, and the evidence package, the downloadable content. It's well over the value of at least 175 to $200 in my opinion. Um, so with that, you know, if you're really out there to get Batman stuff and you're really into some quality Batman stuff I think this is probably the way to go um, I wouldn't pay upwards of 150 175 for it um, but it would be worth it at that point again I don't understand why uh, Warner Montreal or Warner Interactive did not uh, make more of these available to the public beyond pre-order um, but it is very cool so that's it. Um, I'm going to hit up the game tonight and I'm um, actually looking forward to because I haven't played a game in a while and uh, I'm hoping to do some thoughts, maybe initial thoughts and or a review for you guys uh, who follow Comic Hype. Uh, you can check me out, Mike at Sumerian Steel on Twitter and you can check out Comic Hype at www.comichype.com for weekly comic reviews on every comic company out there. 
Uh, you can also check us out on Facebook at Comic Hype. And again, I'm Comic Hype Mike. Um, I suggest you all check out uh, the Batman Arkham Origins Collector's Edition if you can get your hands on it. And uh, definitely check out the game. Uh, have a good night. I'm out.